for the NFC South? Uh, Where, wherever you sure. want to go. Let's just start with the Bucks. Um, 11 and a half. I'm going under. And I would have gone over like two days ago, Chris. Um, I'm going under based off of the weird press conference that Tom Brady just had. It was it was strange. It was super strange. Like Tom Brady usually, even in press conferences, laid back. He's sarcastic. He kind of jokes. It's light. It's whatever. And, you know, obviously he was gone for several weeks from training camp. Everyone knows about that. He gets back and he's asked about it and he's just kind of like, I'm 40 whatever years old he is. I don't know, 40 what, two or whatever. He's like, shh, it's going on. And listen, I'm 37. Shit's going on, Chris. Shit's going on all the time in life. Okay? And I don't know if, yes, it, more shit could be going on at certain times, but like, this seems like a weird, weird thing where like Brady's been able to eliminate or dif differentiate from his you know, football career to his, you know, private life and his kids and his family and his wife or whatever, positive or not. I mean, obviously it's been positive for his success overall, but this, this was a reaction I've never seen from Brady. Um, I don't, and I don't love that he was gone for a few weeks. I, I don't think he wanted to be in Tampa this year. It's just a weird dynamic with a new head coach. Um, and I like the head coach actually a lot. Uh, so nothing against him. I thought he got a raw, raw deal in New York when he was there, but with the Jets. But yeah. this team, this team is an under. This, it's an under, Chris. Uh, I was going to go under as well based off of the fact that I just, this is an aging team, one. Number two, you have all these distractions with Tom Brady. Now these, I mean, you didn't have these distractions when they won the Super Bowl, right? They didn't have a lot of issues off the field. Now you're getting all these issues with Tom Brady and like where he, is he doing Dancing with the Stars? Is he getting a divorce? Is he doing this, that? Like, I mean, this is... The, what what's what's saving him in this is the fact that the other teams in this division are kind of average at best. Like a New Orleans. No, this 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 is the worst division outside it, of Tampa in football. I mean, it's bad, right? It's I mean, there's, it's not great. So you're 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 kind of the guaranteed front runner, and you should win. I just I think there's going to be a lot of regression from what you typically see from a Tampa Bay tom brady team there's just too much here when there's smoke there's fire reckoning in the chat tb is over the basis of who the hell could uh on the basis of who the hell could beat them um yeah take the under says real soul yeah i think the under is pretty safe here i've seen a couple outlets say over i don't see it i don't see it um let's go next to where do you want to go let's go what do you, you want to choose your destiny chris you talk about them uh, let's go ahead. Let's do, let's do New Orleans, maybe. Huh? Um, all right. Now, New Orleans. Let me pull up a couple things on New Orleans here. So, um, New Orleans is an interesting team in the sense they got Michael Thomas back. They got Jameis Winston. They got a decent defense. They're sitting here at eight and a half. Now, New Orleans for me is an interesting team. I honestly think that I mean they're and they it's kind of a coin flip between the eight and a half. If I'm a gambling man, which I am. Oh man. Uh this is a tough one for me because like you just don't know what you're getting with Jameis Winston. Um I think they get to nine wins. I don't love yeah. it. I don't love it though. I don't love it. It's not my favorite bet. Uh, I think this is a team that I think their defense can keep him in games. I think they're good enough offensively. Alvin Kamara is not going to get uh, suspended in the first portion of the season. 
as long as they have him, as long as they have Michael Thomas, I think they have Olave on the outside as well. They drafted him. I think they have some weapons. I think they can get to nine wins. I don't love it, though. This is a weird one for me. Um, I'm on the under. It's it's so bizarre to me. Everyone's looking at the Saints like, oh, this is a team that probably overachieves every year. Sure. But Peyton was like the coach all years, but one when he got weirdly suspended for something that a lot of teams probably did, but regardless of that. So Peyton's gone. Peyton's so highly thought of, like he's pursued beyond belief. And you have Dennis Allen fill in, your defensive coordinator. Like him as a defensive coordinator, but I do not like Dennis Allen as a head coach. I don't think he's a leader of men. I don't see... Yeah, I mean, the quarterback plays below average. Um, you don't know what you're getting from the wide receiver core. It's a very much unknown between Michael Thomas. He drafted Chris Olave, who I like a lot, but like, I don't know if that's a right fit with the quarterback you have in Jameis Winston right now, who could get hurt at any second, by the way. But even if he's healthy, it's he's not he's not great. Um, he's bottom. 10 to 12 in the league in my mind um i don't i don't love this team i like their defense a lot um but i think it's probably not as good of a defense as they had last year and i think their offense is worse too and then you lose at the coaching factor so i'm taking under on new orleans eight and a half okay uh carolina panthers here six and a half um over under six and a half i think Quarterback is going to be an issue for me a little bit. I love Baker better than anything they've had recently. But I'm looking at their wide receivers and I'm not like 100% sold. Christian McCaffrey is a question mark whether or not he's going to play a full season. Because, I mean, if any setbacks happen whatsoever with Christian McCaffrey, I mean, look out. Fantasy owners are going to be raging and I think it's going to be a rough go for Carolina, but um, I do think Baker gives them the best chance to win. We already had an injury with, uh, what's his name? The um, Sam Darnold. He's already had Darnold. kind of a setback oh. here. So there's nothing really here for me to... I, I I like the fact that they're they got Baker and I like the fact that they're moving forward with him. I just think... I I'm leaning under for the uh, Carolina Panthers barely here at six and a half. I uh, I'm shocked by that, Chris. I'm taking the over on this easily. Mm. Um, this this line was at six. They added Mayfield. It went to six and a half. I I think Donald's so bad, and I think Mayfield's underrated. I think Mayfield is slept on because he played hurt last year. Again, Chris, I'll say it again. In week one, Kansas City last year, week one, played at home against the Cleveland Browns. Baker balled his mind out. Like, he had, he was more accurate than I've ever seen a passer. He has that in him to be really, really, I, I won't say he can be elite, but he can be above average, and he could be a huge upgrade over Sam Darnold. I think um, Carolina easily eclipses six and a half. You have a team, you say they don't have, you have McCaffrey coming back from injury. You have, you know, DJ Moore, who's a number one, uh, Robbie Anderson on the other outside um, to go with an offensive line that's okay, not great. Um, defensively, their their number one pick got hurt at corner, uh, JC Horn. I think it's JC Horn out of South Carolina, who was picked before your Jersey boy, Pat Sertan is the number one corner last year in the draft. Um, he got hurt early on and missed the rest of the season. They get him back. I, I just think this is an obvious over pick. I'm shocked you went under right there, Chris. Uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just, there's a lot of wild cards with this team that, I mean, if, if, if McCaffrey stays healthy, maybe I feel like that, that, that it's, it's kind of a bad pick for me, but I don't know. I, it's tough. It's tough for me to like gamble on the Carolina Panthers over as opposed yeah. to the under. So I'll, I'll take, take the it. under. 
I'll uh, take it. All right, Atlanta Falcons. Uh, can I just say under? I don't even need to look at anything, really. I just think they're going to be not great. I agree with you. I think they <laughs> I have... I don't need to look at borderline. Them. You could rank them at 32nd in the league on offense and defense, and I wouldn't argue that hard. I think they're bad. I think they're going to be bad this year. Um, I'll take the under on five. <laughs> that, that was the quickest. I don't. They're they're not getting the six. No, they could push at five. Best case scenario. Uh, they're under. Scott, my boy over here, says real loves it, and so does uh, I believe Chairman and a couple other people. So everyone else is loving the over on Carolina. I don't know. Uh, I just, I think, yeah, no, you already heard me. You already heard what I had to say. Yep. All right. Last.